We look like we're in an asylum a little bit. Professional YouTuber here. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Guess who's here? Hello. It's the favorite brother, he's in town. Um, I wanted to do a video with him. The last video I did with him was back in December and I will leave that down below for you guys if the you'd like to. The vlogmas. The vlogmas, yes. And everybody asked questions of him. So we wanted to film a favorites video together since it's the favorite daughter and the favorite son or the favorite brother and the favorite sister, get it? First things first, there is a giveaway in this video. Exciting, I don't think I've ever done a favorites video with a giveaway. So um, this company actually reached out to me. It's Yod, ta-da! These cool wood watches. I'll be putting in like inserts and stuff like that over our faces or whatever while I'm talking. This company is pretty awesome. They're called Yod. Found them originally on Instagram as one of my like suggested people in my feed and I saw the watches a couple of months before they actually reached out to me and I do accept products for consideration from time to time just kind of you know depends on the product this looked actually kind of cool I really love menswear style watches and when I started talking to their PR rep I was talking about my audience retention and mostly it's females that watch me and I thought that maybe it'd be kind of cool to get a guy's perspective on the watch and I really love some of the designs. They do have women's designs as well um, that have like colorful faces and stuff, but I did choose a unisex one and Phil chose kind of more of a man's version. It's a man's watch. It's a man's watch. So we were talking and they decided to send me two watches to test out. I actually got this at the very beginning of June, so I've been wearing it in all of my, vlo or my Vloon vlogs that you guys have been watching. And I actually sent Phil his because he has been in Atlanta for the last month. So he's been using and enjoying his watch out there and I figured this was kind of a cool thing to do. So let's talk about the giveaway. The giveaway is open internationally. They do sh free shipping as well as free sizing and the prize is gonna be $180 shop credit. Uh, their watches range in price. Um, I'll leave obviously the regular link below so you guys can go and check them out. Um, but that is gonna be the grand prize. The giveaway ends on 714. Yode is the one that's actually sponsoring the giveaway. They are gonna be selecting the winner and contacting you via all of that information that you put in the computer. Also, if you just wanna check these guys out and order one for yourself or a loved one or a family member or a friend, um, there is a $25 coupon code for you guys. Just put in the code word favorite daughter Emily, no spaces at checkout for $25 off. And the same applies to you. There's free sizing and free international shipping as well. Um, the coupon code also ends on 714. So if you want to check it out, just put the links below. But um, as you guys know, I've been wearing this in like pretty much every single vlog, except for the ones where I'm actually painting because I don't want to get it all messed up. And I know a few of you have actually ordered them because you've told me that you have because I get comments on my watch. And um, I've been trying to put them in the links below on all my Vloon vlogs, but you know, I forget sometimes. But this is like the real giveaway. Uh, but I wanted to test it out first to see if I liked it and I love them and it's, they're really cool. So as for a guy's perspective, what do you think of the watch? Um, I like it. I'm normally used to like the Casio G-Shock series and when she's like, hey, there's this cool wooden watch, would you actually try it? and was like, heck yeah, I'll try it. And I think it, w it goes with almost everything that I wear. I normally wear kind of earth tone clothes anyhow. And uh, it, looks, it looks cool. I like that you can see what's going on inside of it because I'm normally used to like digital watches. So it's kind of new to me. And when I'm sitting there in class or at work and I'm bored, I'll just like kind of be mesmerized by what <laughs> what actually goes on inside of there. So uh, yeah, I, I think it's interesting. I, mm -hmm. I, I really like it. It comes with an awesome box. Oh yeah, I haven't shown the there. box yet. So here's the box. <laughs> it's got a J on it. Very cool. And then it's magnetic on the top. We're wearing our watches right now, but it comes with this like burlap little pillow. Pillow, because every watch needs a pillow. So the packaging is actually really, really nice. Um, it does also come with an extra link. So you can if get, you make it larger. yeah, if you want to make it larger or if you get the sizing wrong, you can always, you know, if you 
get it too many lengths, you can always take it into your jeweler and get that taken care of for you. Um, also, there is a little microfiber cloth. There's also another microfiber cloth that they said, this is like a little bit beefier. Um, and then there is a little tray at the bottom, a which is- Secret compartment. It is like a secret compartment. Um, and this has some wood oil in there because the watches are all made of wood, which is really, really neat. But that was a really cool thing that the company has done and it's all their watches are all wood. So, and they Ex all have- Except for the mechanics inside. Right, and yeah, the you, glass. Can't, you can't really do that. But it's a cool concept. Yeah. If you have uh, a guy out there or a gal out there that's like really into watches, this is just kind of a cool thing to maybe do for like a birthday or a holiday <laughs> or something. I don't know, they're kind of fun. So I'm gonna do all of my favorites first and then we're gonna talk about my brother's favorites. Um, these are my June favorites, but Phil's gonna do something a little bit different with his favorites, so we'll get into that when we get into that. Stay tuned. <laughs> right. So, first favorite of the month is going to be fashion. This is an accessory, so we're gonna do the fashion. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm wearing LuLaRoe. Dang! Uh, I know! It is so comfortable. It feels like pajamas. I've had LuLaRoe stuff for a really long time and I really, really enjoy it. I will leave a Facebook link to the gal, Vanessa, that I get the majority of my LuLaRoe stuff from. And if you end up buying something from Vanessa, let her know that I sent you. Um, but I just love this stuff. It's really nice. They've got nice leggings. I've got the leggings on right now, which I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I like, I'm not that flexible, you guys. Um, but I'm wearing the leggings right they now. They are too. on. They are, I swear, I can, I can I'm wearing that. pants. <laughs> this, this video just took a turn, all right? But I love these. They're nice and comfortable, and they literally feel like you're wearing pajamas all day. And I need that as stressful as my job is. Not this job, but my like normal, regular daily life job. I wish I could wear pajamas at my job. So. Mm hmm. It's, it's very nice. They should make, uh, you know, I think they make LuLaRoe for men, but they just have some tops. So they have like a, like a baseball tee kind of a thing for guys, but they don't have leggings for dudes. I mean, I'm sure you could wear the Not leggings. Yet. My next favorite, kind of segueing into being here at the new house, is some cuticle oil. As you guys know, I've been painting and sanding and doing all of this stuff, and it has been like murder on my fingers. And I have had many products from this natural skincare line called Clean and Dirty. And I have been rubbing this on my cuticles every single night and it's been really helping my nails, I feel like. Um, I still have some paint on my hands, but we're gonna look beyond that today. But this I feel like has been really, really helpful. Um, I have had her stuff for quite a while and she reached out to me and I do have a coupon code. I will put it down below. I can't remember what the percentage is, is that it's off. If you guys wanna check it out, it's all natural. I love their deodorant. Um, it's just so much better than using the aluminum deodorants for you. And I wear it every day and I love that stuff too. But this has been really helpful with like the painting and the washing of the hands all the time. And I don't know, I'm just really into it. So cuticle and nail oil from Clean and Dirty. Love this stuff. Uh, Emily, may I ask a question? You can, Phil. What's geodorant? Geodorant? Did you say geodorant? I said deodorant. You said geodorant. I said deodorant, like for your armpits. You said geodorant. Well, it's Run a that tape back. Natural. I love their deodorant. No, deodorant, like for your armpits. Okay. You said geo. I thought you said geodorant. Geodorant. <laughs> Um, all right, so my next favorite after that is going to be my Vloon series. I will link it below. If you guys have not caught up on Vloon, what's wrong with you? Isn't this a Vloon video right here? No, this is a formal sit down video. Oh. This is gonna go up on a Wednesday. Okay. So I do post every single week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. However, in June, I'm doing a Vloon series, which is June plus vlog equals Vloon. I've actually had many questions on that in the comments, but Anyways, it makes sense to me. The cool thing is, is June 1 is actually the day that I closed on the place that we're in right now. 
So it's kind of been following me along on the home buying slash renovating journey, which um, you guys have been enjoying. And then also my brother's in town now, my parents are in town. So lots of uh, interesting cast of characters have been there. Um, they've met Jackson, they've met Isabel. You know, we've, we've met a lot of people on the balloon. So I will link the playlist below. Um, I highly suggest starting at day one and going from there. And I hope you guys enjoy. And make some popcorn. Yes, <laughs> they're, they're not really long by themselves, but, but if you watch them all in one sitting, <laughs> good luck to you. Oh, and my dog's in the vlogs. Everybody likes the dog, so. The dog's in every vlog. A dog rhymes with vlog. Yep, Look the dog up. vlog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next item, speaking of binge watching things, Orange is the New Black, the new season just came out. I haven't completely finished it yet because I've just been so busy with the house, but I've watched about half the season and it's really, really good. That concludes my favorites. So Phil's gonna talk about some of his favorites, but I'll let him talk about what he wants to talk about in the video because this is his portion, okay? Since I haven't done my favorites, I'm not doing monthly favorites. I was like, hey, since I'm in Minnesota right now and we're filming this in Minnesota, I was like, let me do a Minnesota favorites. Ooh. So, what a great idea I had. <laughs> <laughs> so, hang on. I wrote, I wrote a couple things down. I was brainstorming yesterday and came up with a couple things. Um, some of my favorite places to eat. If, it, if you've never passed by Minnesota, highly recommend it. It is deluxe. Oh geez, here we go. <laughs> here anyway, we go. Uh, it, I have to put that word in our video. So. Best place to eat pizza in Minnesota, according to me, is a place called Broadway Pizza. There's several locations in the North Metro. I actually used to work there back in the Dizzy and I used to take a pizza home with me almost every single day after work that my boss may or may not have known about, but every single one was delicious. Normally, whenever I come back to Minnesota, I go out of my way to get Broadway pizza. Another one that I go to, it's like a fast food taco shop called Zantigo's, and there's a, I think there's like three or four locations. Uh, the one I always go to is in Fridley. Again, I used to work at that place. Normally you'd think people that like worked at a food restaurant like absolutely despise it, it and yeah. hate it. To be but, like, oh, I know how that's made. Yeah. Like, I don't want to eat that. But, like the two restaurants I've ever worked in in my entire life when I was like in high school, Just I actually made you still eat it more. love that food. <laughs> so, you anyway. have like the exact opposite effect. Yeah. Those are two of the places. Another one is Dragon House, which da -da 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 -da. I actually da -da -da. just happened to be wearing my Dragon House Did you plan this? Are you a professional YouTuber? I kind of planned it. I think Emily has probably broke the news to you guys already if you haven't heard. Yeah. That it's one of her favorite restaurants and actually our entire family's favorite restaurant. And unfortunately they are, they are closing in a couple weeks for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've been When just... you guys see this, mm -hmm. they will actually be closing their doors for good that Saturday. When you guys see this video published on a Wednesday that Saturday, they're closing their doors for good, unfortunately, but we're trying to get as much Dragon House in our systems as we can until that happens, yeah. so, yeah. So, we actually went there for dinner. Yesterday. Last night. Yeah. For dinner. We're pre-filming this. I'll probably go there, yeah, we gotta convert the time continuum transfunctioner and uh, all, that, all that other stuff. Highly technical. Uh, that's Dragon House in Columbia Heights. Sad thing is, by the time you probably watch this, video you're only gonna have a couple of days to get mm -hmm. there so i'll leave links below to all the things that he's talking about as much as i can find and she'll probably still have leftovers in the fridge i probably for will months after they close i think that they should do like a clinic there or like a tutorial on how to properly freeze your items and thaw them out yeah. so you can get the best flavor just a suggestion We're, we actually know like we're family friends with like the owner of yeah, the place. Yeah, like I have the owner's personal cell phone number yeah. in my phone. Like, <laughs> and he he would probably finally give like the actual ingredients to us if if somehow we wanted to. Yes, please. Fingers crossed. Try to recreate that. Again. It still would never taste as good, but it doesn't no, no, matter. It, it never tastes as good. No. At least we could try. Exactly. So so after that place, I would also recommend Kamarchex, which is in Northeast Minneapolis, which is a kind of Eastern European, German, Polish, Ukrainian type place that you can get like sausages and also authentic Don't meals they have the there. borscht there? Yeah, they've got a bunch of different soups. Yeah. 
It's really good. They've got like the sauerkraut roll with the sauce you put on it that's amazing. They've yeah. got the best. It smells really good when you go in there. Oh, yeah. They've got the best, that cucumber tomato salad that you get some oh, places. Oh, yeah. They've got the best one I've ever had there. And they're also really well known for their sausages. They've got a whole other side mm -hmm. that's like a big meat market. Yeah. They, they have they like sell meats sausages. and cheeses and yep. stuff over there. Yeah. And they, they sell those at the Twins game, uh, the Minnesota Twins baseball games as well. That's They've great. got um, a little restaurant there. Places that I like to actually visit in Minnesota. I love the parks in Minnesota. I miss the parks whenever I'm like gone and I come back. I always try to make it a point to go visit something nature-y almost every place that I go. He's outdoorsy. The outdoors doesn't like me. I think I told you guys that in a few vlogs, mm. but he loves the outdoors. I can't go outside because I get welts all over my skin. It's gross. Another park that would be cool is uh, Franconia Park, which is kind of a drive up by Stillwater. And also mentioning Stillwater, uh, just some cool places to road trip. Red Wing, which That's I know cool. you've done that several times. There's a Go bluff. see the big shoe There's at the big, Red Wing. Yep, Red Wing shoe, shoe shop. factory. Yep. Um, you gotta do you gotta take a picture with it. It's just what you have to do there. Yep. It's a it's a cool little town, and my favorite thing to do there is actually hike up this bluff that overlooks mm -hmm. the Mississippi River. On the other other side of the river is actually all of Wisconsin, but on the side that you're on is Red Wing, and it actually looks down. Um, on the entire city. It's a pretty amazing view and it's a really simple hike too. It takes like 30 minutes to get up it. Uh, a couple cool other places to visit if you haven't is Stillwater, which is just east of the Twin Cities. Not that far of a drive. It's got a lift bridge and some cool restaurants and different shops and stuff around there. Mm -hmm. They've got some really cool like um like vintage shops and mm -hmm. antique shops and stuff. Yeah. So definitely that's a cool place to spend an afternoon. Yep, and these are places to like do a quick little day road trip. Other cool things to do in Minnesota, if you visit here or live here and, and haven't done this stuff is I highly recommend going to a St. Paul Saints game. It's awesome. A lot of people just think like, hey, I'm gonna go to a Vikings game or a Twins game or a Timberwolves game or a Minnesota Wild game. But a lot of times they overlook the St. Paul Saints, which is a minor league baseball team. It's a lot less serious. It's a lot more family friendly, I think, than, than the Twins baseball team. Like you get there and it's all about just like goofy stuff happening, happening in between the games or in between the innings. It's good, really entertaining. Good stuff to eat. I think everybody in Minnesota has been to the state fair. If you are not from Minnesota, check it out. It's normally in August, August. End of August into September. Through Labor Day. Yeah. I think Labor Day is the last day. Yep. It's, and it goes on for, I think it's 10 total days. Yeah. I'll leave a link down below to the Minnesota State Fair website. You guys can check it out. Yeah. It, it's one of the best places to visit in Minnesota, in my opinion. Awesome people watching. Probably one of the, the people best. watching is epic. One of the best places I've ever You get everybody ever there. Watched. It's amazing. Yeah. And one last thing that I want to talk about, we'll end it on a, a positive note. Oh gosh. What category is this? We're going to talk about my favorite Minnesota beer. Oh, okay. here we go. In the last... I'm kind of surprised you didn't get like a prop oh. for the video. Well, after we've done filming the video, I'm going to go celebrate yeah. with... with my Minnesota favorite beer. There's actually a lot of different beers in Minnesota that I that I like, that I can't really get other places. Minnesota even has a reputation of being, having like some beer snobs here. There's a lot of craft beers mm -hmm. here in Minnesota, a lot. My favorite Minnesota beer is made by the company called Grain Belt, which is actually one of the historic Minnesota beers that has been here for a long period of time. They were actually defunct for many years and they were brought back, I think with the original recipe, but under a different ownership. And they had Grain Belt Premium was the one I kind of first had. I think here, maybe about eight years ago, 10 years ago, they came up with uh, Grain Belt Nordeast. It got a little bit more flavor to it than the premium. I really like that. It really re like just reminds me of Minnesota. But also if I want to get something with a little bit more flavor in it and an actual craft beer, which Nordeast is not. It's early Furious, which comes in like these tall cans. I really like that. And it's also on tap at, at some, at a lot of Minnesota bars actually, but that one's really good. 
And don't be scared by the name Surly Furious. It's not like gonna turn you into like, some like maniac or anything. Like, but you, like so you, fast, so you, furious. You, you, you drink two of them, you'd be I. But <laughs> so don't bring drink three. <laughs> yeah. Or else you're gonna be drink. really fast and furious. Uh, but they they actually come in. They're tall cans and they come in uh, packs of four. And they're they're delicious. I love them. They gotta be real nice and cold though. That's really all I got for my my Minnesota favorites. Obviously, I could go on and on. And this on. is like the more you know about Minnesota. Yeah, just, turned into a Minnesota favorites yeah. as well. That's okay. Just trying to share some info and. She's like, hey, it's a favorites video, and I'm like, well. You're like, I got some favorites. But I'm all out of favorites. Why don't you hit up all those favorites I mentioned, and then I'll get, link get everything back below me. for you guys. Yeah, like, give him your review and be like, yeah, Phil, I don't know about this. Hey, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a world renowned travel guy. He is. He travels all over the place. But all right, so that is going to be it for our cumulative favorites video. Uh, make sure to check out the link for the giveaway. Feel free to subscribe and also thumbs up the video if you haven't already. Like I said before, um, I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Vloon will be over by then, but I will still put the playlist down below so you guys can check it out. And um, you can join me on my little vlogging adventure of the month of June. But yeah, thank you so much to Yod for the cool watches. And um, I hope that <laughs> some of you guys Check out the website and just see for yourself. And um, I'm really excited about who wins. So whoever wins, like tag me on Instagram or uh, you know send me a message on Facebook or something and show me your watch once you get it. So I'm, I'm gonna be really curious on who actually wins this awesome giveaway uh, sponsored by Yo. So anyways, we are gonna go and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.